Well, hello. So, do you ever have days where you're feeling lost? You're not quite sure who you are, where you're going, what to do, anything like that. I have those days as well. And especially in today's society where we might feel isolated or hopeless with all of the chaos going on around us. There's certain things that I do that I feel helps me be more grounded and I try to be as present as possible. And personally, I think that it's really hard to not think about the past, to not think about the future. We are human beings after all, right? We are who we are. But I find that for me, if I stick to certain routines and I write things down, that helps me out a whole lot. So what do I mean by that? Well, pull up a chair. Let's have some coffee or tea or your beverage of choice. And let's have a little conversation about this. So for me personally, I pretty much get up at the same time every single day, especially during the week, because I do have a full-time job and I have to start at a certain time. So I do set my alarm. I get up at the same time during the week. And then on the weekends, it's usually right around the same time. And I get up, I make my coffee, I feed my cats, take care of all of that stuff. And then I get ready for the day. And, you know, of course, do my hair, my makeup and all of that fun stuff. And then I try to go to bed at night, the same exact time. And I make sure that I have no TV or electronics, at least an hour before bed. Usually I read, read my books. And I also have been starting to journal more and I hadn't done that for years. And I've recently gotten back into that and I've checked out some YouTube videos on people that recommend journaling and got some really good ideas from them and then just said, well, why just not start this, right? Let's just see where this takes me. And I just write down random thoughts. If I have ideas about something that I want to do or something that I want to try or just random thoughts and feelings that I'm having about things that are going on in my life or around the world and just getting those down on paper, I feel like I, I get all of those thoughts out of my head and it makes it easier for me to relax a little bit. I don't know if that really makes sense, but for me it works. And exercising for me is super important, not just because I want to stay as fit and as strong and healthy as I can, but it also helps to lower my stress levels. Now I don't have a super high stress job. Yes, there's times where it can be stressful, but there's other things that, um, you know, are happening around us or in each of our personal lives that might stress us out. So I find that exercising helps with that a lot. And I think most of you already know that. And I also try to spend as much time outside, if it's not too cold, <laughs> as much time outside as I can and get as much natural sunlight as I can, because that really helps my mood. And that's hard for some of us in the, um, winter climates when we don't have a lot of sunshine. And so we kind of have to work at that a little bit, but I try to get as much as I can. And this year, just because, you know, I've decided to do a no buy year for any clothing or any household things, and I'm also working on decluttering a lot of stuff. That's something else that's got me super pumped up, super excited. Now we're almost to the end of January. And I have not purchased any pieces of clothing or accessories or anything like that. Feeling really good about that. And it's, um, it's like a real freeing feeling that I'm experiencing. I get really elated when I walk into a store and I don't even want to buy anything when it's clothing related or household related. So I think I've made it past that hump. And there's other areas in my life that I really want to improve upon and push those boundaries out even more, you know, trying to figure out what I want to do 
for um, starting my own business and becoming my own boss and not having to um, answer to somebody else or be dependent on them for paying me and stuff like that. And that's a huge leap for a lot of people. It's a scary thing because we get comfortable, you know, in our jobs, even if we don't like them, we get comfortable in them. We know we've got that guaranteed paycheck coming in. Well, for the most part, anyways, nothing's guaranteed, right? But those are just things that I'm trying to improve upon. And um, I've also started my No Friends Society, and that's my private membership for women only. I will put the link in the description box below if you want to join that. And I'm doing my first Zoom session this Thursday, which I believe is the 25th. And I set it for 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And of course, I can't make that work for everybody because we're in different time zones across the country or even the world. So um, this is going to be a trial and error kind of a thing. So I'm going to see if that's a, a good time or if I need to do it on a weekend or whatever. But that's my twice a month um, Zoom thing that I'm going to do with people. And it's just a place for us to come together and have conversations and share ideas and thoughts and what's going on in our lives and how we're dealing with things. If we have obstacles or hurdles or anything, you know, just whatever we want to talk about. So I have that. And also I'm going to put in the description box below a couple of channels that I really enjoy watching on YouTube because they just um, put me in a, they put me in a good mood. I learned something new. Um, one of them is Recollection Road and he does a lot of stuff where he talks about things from the past, things that we used to do or how things were. And he usually goes through things like from, I think the forties through the eighties. And they're just a lot of fun to watch. And it just makes, sometimes it makes me feel like a kid again when he talks about something from growing up as a kid in the 70s and 80s. And it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I used to do that too. And um, he doesn't even show his face on his YouTube channel, but it's really, really cool. Another one that I really like watching is this young man. Um, I think his um, channel is called What Gabe Built. And he talks about his uh, saving money and minimalism and all the things that he's been learning along the way. And he has a lot of really good ideas, a lot of really good suggestions because we can always learn from other people. I don't have this nailed down. I've sucked at this for years, spent money on stupid shit. I have major regrets over that. And I'm trying to get past that, having all of those big regrets over things where I could be more financially set now if I didn't make all those mistakes in the past. But again, we're human. We are who we are. That's that devil on my shoulder, right? That go buy this, go buy that kind of a thing. And so I've unsubscribed from channels that are pushing that consumerism thing. And I get why they're doing what they're doing because they have to make money. They might be a fashion channel or whatever. And they don't just make money off of having a YouTube channel. I mean, it takes a lot to make money on YouTube. And I don't make hardly anything. I think I made 50 bucks last month with my YouTube channel. And I just, I get too sucked into that stuff. And then I'm like, yeah, I want to get that too. And I don't need to do that. And so I'm trying to break free from all of that stuff. And I've been watching more uh, minimalism channels. Not that I want to be the total minimalist um, in my approach to how my life is going to be, but some of them are super helpful because they give you really good steps and ways of how you can declutter things and let certain things go because after all, it's just stuff, right? We can't take it with us when we die. And um, that's just what it is, right? So I've been going through and decluttering and uh, giving away stuff to the uh, thrift store in town then I've been selling some stuff on Poshmark and all of that fun stuff. So that's just kind of where things are at. And I'm interested in learning what other people are doing. What are you guys doing out there? How's your year going so far? And do you have any plans? Is anybody um, doing any kind of new exercise program or a new eating style? Are you trying to declutter your home? 
Are you trying to get a different job or start a YouTube channel or just change gears in your life? What are you doing? Let's have some good conversations about that. So I just finished reading a book <clears throat> that was recommended to me by a comment on one of my YouTube videos a while ago, and it's called The Clockwork Crow. It's by Katherine Fisher. And I'm not sure if this is a trilogy, I forget, but I picked it up um, on Amazon. It was used, but it's like brand new. And here's the, the book cover here. And this was a really good book. It's meant for the younger crowd, but they had said it was still a good read and they were right. It was a really good read. So I finished that. And um, I also have one here that um, I've started reading. And sometimes I do that. I'll start reading a couple of books at the same time. This one is called The Catberg, Catberg Caper by Kristen Eckhart. And it's actually a pretty good book. And I picked that up at the thrift store, I think last year for like a dollar. So um, I'm going to finish that one. And then I'm also going to start on this other one. Now, I don't know much about this author. I've read the bio in the back and it sounds pretty interesting. His name is Nicholas Freeling. And this one is called Not As Far As Velma. It's a Henry Castang mystery. And I think this one was published in 1989. And he's got a long list of books that uh, he's written. So I'm excited to get into that book. I'm going to start reading that book tonight as a matter of fact. And then the other thing that I'm still working on, of course, there's a um, there's hundred of these puzzles in here. I think I'm on number four. I tend to only do these on the weekend. And this is that Myrtle. And there's this is volume one. There's a volume two out there. Volume three, I think, is going to be released in March or April, something like that. And this I had... Um, seen on a, a YouTube channel. Some lady was talking about things that she does, hobbies and things that she does for fun in the winter months. And I thought, wow, that sounds really interesting because I like murder mysteries. Obviously, I'm a huge Agatha Christie fan. And I thought this would be kind of fun. Keeps your brain sharp. And it definitely does. One recommendation I have if you do pick up this book is um, use a pencil. <laughs> that way you can erase and make notes and do whatever until you kind of figure out what you're doing with these because there's um, definitely logic involved on this. And my logical mind works a little bit differently because I do finance and accounting. So I work with a lot of numbers and this right here is a little different. And that's good though, because I want to keep my mind sharp and I want to think about things and figure stuff out. So still working on those, still love those. And yeah, so I think that's it. So anyways, let me know what you, uh, what you're up to. Let's, uh, let's have some conversations about that. And again, my no friend society membership, if you're interested in that, um, it's on the, uh, buy me a coffee page. If you click on that in the description box below. And again, my first session is going to be this coming Thursday, the 25th at five o'clock central standard time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh yeah we'll do some further updates and uh we'll keep going right let's stay positive in this world and have some fun we only have one life let's live it folks all right you guys take care thank you so much for watching and we'll talk soon bye